Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, it's a 32-inch Funai LED TV. Here in this TV, the complaint is no display issue along with vertical bars moving around the screen. You can see thick vertical bar and lines moving around the screen. So mainly these types of complaints are due to VGH voltage missing in the gate drive or gate cough. Here actually this fault is mainly because of VGH voltage missing from the gate cough. So here we open the back of the TV. Here you can see this is the power supply board and this is the motherboard. This is the motherboard model number and this is the panel scalar board it's a 32 inch boe panel here you can see the panel model number hv 320 wxc 200 this is the panel model number it's a 32 inch boe panel so here in the scalar board all voltages are okay here actually the problem is with the gate cough so from the scalar board we need to bypass the VGH or V on voltage to gate cough see friends now we open the panel frame here you can see there are total two gate coughs are there in this panel so here first we need to take the data sheet of this gate cough we need to search with model number of this gate cough to get the data sheet see friends here on the VGH test point you can see while measuring with multimeter see friends instead of VGH voltage here it shows negative 5 voltage on the multimeter so now we can confirm that the problem is with VGH voltage so we need to bypass the VGH voltage from the scalar board to this gate curve VGH test point see friends here you can see the v on test point so here we bypassed a jumper wire from the v on test point now we need to connect the other end of this jumper wire to the vgh test point on the gate cough see friends here you can clearly see now we bypassed the vgh voltage to VGH test point of the gate curve. So in this situation now let us turn on the TV and check the picture to confirm whether the complaint is solved or not. See friends now the TV is turned on. You can see now the TV logo comes. So this means that now the TV is repaired successfully and the complaint is solved. So now the next step is to arrange this jumper wire properly for that we need to fix it here I used a double side tape for fixing this jumper wire on the panel side so in this situation now we can put the panel frame back to TV
See friends, for these types of complaints, it's a permanent solution. So, the panel will work. While comparing with other panel repairing methods, this is the only method that we can say that it's a permanent solution. Here now, fix the jumper wire using a double side tape on the scalar PCB. So, now all fittings are done. Now we put the panel scalar board back over. Now, before putting the back cover of the TV, let us turn on the TV and check the picture again. See friends, now the picture is crystal clear. Note that this is a permanent solution. So in this types of complaints, we don't need to replace the panel. We can repair it by bypassing the missing voltage using a jumper wire from the scalar board to the gate cough. So here you can see the result. Now we can put the back cover and all screws back to TV. So finally, now the TV is repaired successfully. This is the final result. So that's it. Hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thank you for watching.